Yo, what, what up, up, what man? up? Y'all see the title of the video and what's yeah. happening. So, we guys are gonna get right into it. We ain't gonna hold back. We love watching this donkey of the day type stuff, so we thought, why not react to it? You feel me? So, you wanna do the honors and press play, baby? Yeah, let's get it. Donkey of the day for Friday, May 22nd, goes to a 32. What's happening? Yeah. All we say about Florida, yes, repeat after me. The craziest people in America come from the in all of Florida. Okay, Florida never fails me. They are the most crazy group of people Excuse I have me. never met in my life. Okay? Now Audra Adams is one of the people mm -hmm. taking advantage of the fact that Florida is reopened. They're on phase one of the reopening uh plan. In fact, not only did she take advantage of the fact that Florida is reopened. We on like phase two right now. Yeah, here in Bermuda where- While no, she no, was I there, think... she was doing what some would call contradicting herself. She was doing what some would call being a hypocrite. She was doing what some would call not practicing what you're preaching. Okay, she would uh, do what Dr. Fauci would be very too. disappointed in. That's mm -hmm. what she was doing. She was doing you something- You gonna say something my love and all that to me and waste my time? At least Bro, we- we yeah. just speak you have to live what you say in your rhymes. No, you know, Audra was doing the exact opposite of the WOFL Fox 35. Please. This woman arrested after allegedly kissing strangers at a county bar. But the story does not end there. Police say she also called 911 trying to report that bar for violating social distancing. 32 year old Bruh. Bruh. Adams was taken into. Bruh, bruh. <laughs> so, y'all been there. Fucking kissing strangers, while and out. <laughs> All drunk. Mwah, we're finally allowed out. Mwah, mwah. Just straight disturbing the peace. And anybody probably ever want to kiss. I love kiss. you. You know how she got a white girl wasted. Damn, and then, then you're going to call the people. And talk, call the police and tell them you're yeah, fucking well, mom. Um, no, because what happened know, was they... Like social distancing. No, no. What happened was they kicked her out of the bar. And she felt rejected and embarrassed, so she called the police to try and have the party shut down because she was thrown out. <laughs> and that was her way of sending the police their ways that they're not. She thought she's being slick by reporting the business saying, oh, they're not social distancing. They said all that just now? I watched it before you. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, I'm dying. I remember hearing none of that. I know he's reacting to it, you know? <laughs> oh, shit! My girl on the radio and watch this, you know that? Okay, no, well, okay. bitch, you watch this, you might not, <laughs> not even worry about your reaction. No, you keep might playing just talk. it. Yeah, no, I am, I have to. It. Dang, yeah, you a sick girl. <laughs> After Melbourne police were called by the owners of the bar saying that the woman was attempting to kiss random customers. According to police, Adams was asked to leave and Melbourne police say that she made several calls to 911 to report that the restaurant was not following social distancing guidelines. Police yeah, asked Adams to leave there. the property and when she refused, she was taken into custody and turned over to the Brevard County Sheriff's Office where she was taken to the Brevard County yeah. Jail and booked on trespassing and several other charges including disorderly conduct and misuse of the 911 system. Uh, Only yeah. in Florida. You know I'm With saying, look, hey, drunk in a bar. Come on, they got the fines out there. I got everything laid out in place. You should know a whole a lot better. You feel me? Like, what do you expect? Y'all there kissing people, strangers, people that don't want you all up on them and all that type of stuff. And they ain't got mad because they're sending you out and you're talking about not practicing social distance. Like, you're the reason. Mm -hmm. So let's get rid of you as the problem. Yeah. What type of crap is she that anyway? She's just drunk and like when you reject someone when, they, when they're when they drunk you get like drunk people get so emotional when it comes to rejection and they do crazy things like that is one of the feelings that you never want to feel rejection but when it slides in here and there you don't always recognize it right away but it does take over you emotionally and when you're drunk and you get rejected like because they put her out and she didn't feel like she's doing anything wrong. Are well, you know? in a pandemic when you get I rejected? know, but it's so I can imagine how easily it's gonna how easy it's gonna be for people to forget social distancing once everyone's emerged back together. I do think some people are gonna take it seriously, but it's gonna become one of those things where a lot of people forget, you know? And yeah, yeah. That's, that's she be obviously like tried to use it to her advantage by 
coming up with a false accusation. That's gonna be the reason why the fucking phases go right back to none now, or back to damn zero. And we guys are trapped inside. Come on, man, like, you can't do that. Obviously, everyone's excited to be out and about, you know, with the quarantine uplift. But at the same time, don't you want to stay out and moving around? So why are you going to do stuff when you know that there are rules in place and all that? Like, that, that just don't make any sense. Like, I'm excited too, but that's all right. Yo, bro, I'll hear you up from a distance, you feel me? Keep it pushing, just so that there is no fine being placed. I don't want to come hail you up and now you got to... What, like $3,000 fines, $6,000? All these crazy type prices for these fines and not social distancing and all that stuff. So, imagine you're trying to not kiss for somebody. me. Imagine you're trying I to kiss somebody like, and like, like give them ooh, a piece of Bible. Ooh, no. Now you're trying to, what if you have it? That's like... Yeah, no. I've like, always been a germaphobe anyways. I'm not a fan of like skin and all that shit, hair. Plus, I feel like I like just stay there and I'll stay here. So... I love it. I'm like, yep, six feet apart. Bag it up, bag it up, up, up. That's crazy. I yeah. know. I like it a lot. Well, on that note, y'all, we're gonna end this reaction right here because basically it's just Charlemagne the Beast talking about his opinion on them. You know, Is what, he a what you should be and what you know you shouldn't be doing. So, hope y'all staying safe out there. That pandemic. Come on, play it safe. You know you gotta wear a mask. You know you gotta wear a glove just to protect yourselves and your family. So just follow suit. You know? Don't be an e. <laughs> the other day. What's that damn doggy little squeaky oh, toy? Oh, sorry. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Yeah, that's all we're gonna do now. Yeah, peace, yeah.